Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, we are going to look at using timers in a custom Alexa skill. And we're going to look at doing that using the uh, new ability to get permission from a user with, uh, with their voice, which is kind of cool. So we're going to be working with a template from uh, Dabble Lab. So you want to start by going to DabbleLab.com and then clicking on templates. And we're going to be working with this template here, number 19, the Alexa timers example template. So you just want to click on that and you're going to get prompted to log in if you're not already logged in, but you can create an account for free if you don't have one already uh, by just clicking this link down here, need an account. And then once you're logged in, you can download the source code from here and it's going to download as a zip uh, package. And so once you've downloaded it, you can go and unzip it. And all the code that we're going to be working with is in here. And so once you've downloaded the template, head over to Alexa, the Alexa console at uh, developer.amazon.com. If you don't have a, an Amazon developer account, you can create one there. And then once you've uh, logged in, you want to head over to the Alexa developer console, which is here. That's where we are right now. And we're going to be working with an Alexa hosted skill. So we're going to create a skill first. So do create skill and we'll just call this demo skill like that. And it's a custom skill, so you can leave the default there. But rather than provision your own, we're going to use the Alexa hosted for Node.js and then create skill, just leave the default here, which is Alexa hosted skill. We're gonna overwrite that anyway. And then this takes about a minute to, uh, to finish up. So while that's going, let me um, talk about what's in the template package. So we're gonna need a few things out of here. We're gonna need the uh, interaction model, which is this here. We're going to need the code from the index. And in this case, there's some NPM packages that we're going to also need. So we're going to need the code from package.json here. And this template will work with the Ask CLI also. I'm using the Alexa hosted skills because it's uh, easier and you don't have to have an AWS account set up and there is no credit card required. So that's why I'm uh, using Alexa hosted skills, but the package will work with the SCLI also if you prefer that. So there we go. It is ready to, uh, to configure. So we'll go back over here to the Alexa console. And the first thing that you wanna do under the build tab is go down to the JSON editor and we're gonna replace the um, interaction model with the one that's in the template. And you can do that by just clicking this drag and drop a JSON file. It'll open up a, uh, a dialog window. And then from your downloads from the package, you wanna go into the models folder and then select this en-us.json file. And that is the interaction model we're gonna use. And once you've uploaded that, just choose save and then build the model. And while that's building, the next step, which is important, is that we need to ask for or provide the skill with um, uh, permissions for timers, access to the timers. So you wanna go to permissions here, which I just clicked on, and then come down and find the timers and toggle that on just like that. And once that's done, now we can go set up our code. So you wanna head over to the code tab and like I said, there, we're gonna need the uh, package.json as well as the index. So we're gonna replace the code with, um, for both of these files with the code from the uh, template. So we'll start with the package.json file. You just wanna open that in a text editor. I'll use text edit, of course. You could use any text editor or code editor of your choice. So copy that and then come back over here to the package.json file. And then we're just gonna paste everything right over that. So, and the reason that we're doing this again is because there's some dependencies, specifically the Axios and the Moment, which are two NPM packages that are used in the code. So we'll save that. And then we'll do the same thing for the index.js files. So we'll go over here to the index.js file, which is right here and open it with your text editor or code editor, and then copy all the code in there. 
and paste it over the code that is here in the developer console. Okay, so save that and deploy it. And we'll test this before I go into the code. Let me just uh, show you what uh, what it does. When you, um, for timers, for testing the timers, you can't use the, um, the simulator here, but you'll still need to toggle it on for development so that you can test with your uh, Echo device. So you will need an Echo device to, to test with the timers. So I'm gonna be using one here for our testing. So the, the build looks like it's done. So I think we can test now. Alexa, open demo skill. Welcome, you can say hello or help. Which would you like to try? Alexa, stop. Goodbye. So I guess I didn't deploy that code. So let me go back over here. It's still deploying. Uh, I should have mentioned, yeah. So um, because of the NPM packages, I should have been paying attention there. Anytime that you add um, NPM packages, it usually takes a little bit longer to deploy because it's got to go fetch those from NPM. And that's why it took a little bit longer. But it looks like it's done now. So let's try it again. Alexa, open demo skill. This skill needs permission to access your timers. You can allow demo skill to create timers for activities. After those timers complete, I may ask you if you'd like to return to the skill to continue the activity. Would you like to allow this? Yes. Now that we have permission to set a timer, would you like to start? Yes. Your demo timer is set for 15 seconds. We'll wait for it to finish up. Five, four, three, two. Your demo timer is done. Okay, so that is it. Alexa, stop. It's a pretty simple example, um, but what you, um, the, the part that is the coolest in my opinion is- From demo skill, this ends your timer. It is the uh, the ability to enable the permissions using your voice, and this is new. Yeah, so you can also do this with uh, with reminders, and I'm going to do a I'll do a, a template and a tutorial on that soon. But um, previously, if you've uh, worked with reminders and uh, other skills, you the user would have to go through the uh, the Alexa companion app to enable that. And it's kind of a clunky workflow, so I, I really like the, um, the the voice permissions a lot. I wish they were available for, for everything. But the way that this is all working is, I'm going to go back over here to the code. Um, OK, so there's uh, the, the timer item up here is what we're actually passing well, this is, yeah, this is what we're passing to, uh, to define the timer. And this um, is, you know, period, time, and then uh, 15 seconds. So this is how long the timer is. So 15S, if that was gonna be a, like five minutes, it would be, this last part here would be 5M. And then you can define like the, the label that it shows on the, uh, the screen and whether or not the timer is visible, if it's a device with a screen like an Echo Show or something like that. And then um, down here, what is gonna be set after the timer is finished. And in this case here, it's just this ends your timer. And there's different types of um, operation types uh, and you can get like all of the, the details on that from the uh, the documentation here. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna step through all of them. There's, but there's different types of, of timers that you can set up. And then uh, down here, this, um, the, the directive here is what's used to, uh, to prompt the user for the permission to use the timers. And so part of that, um, this part here, you heard when we started it up, we define, but the rest of those prompts, those are all defined by the Alexa service. So we can't change any of um, what the, the Alexa service is saying, although it's using like the, the name from the label and things like that. 
And uh, then after the, um, so this up here is, is looking to see if permission has already been granted. And if it hasn't been granted, in this case here, that's when it's prompting for permissions. But if it has been granted, uh, we're just prompting to say, would you like a timer? And then um, I'm anticipating a yes or no response. So there's a, a yes and no handler down here. And uh, this, is, um, this is the code here that's actually calling the, uh, the Amazon API or the API for Alexa to set the timer. So if the, the, the person says yes, it's using the timer item details up there and um, Axios, which is an NPM package to post those details out to uh, the, uh, the API, the timer API for Alexa. And that requires authorization. So that's what's happening up here, the bearer token. And this will probably be part of the, um, the 2.0 uh, SDK by the time you watch this. It's not right now, but uh, it might be. So you can use um, Axios, but I would imagine that there's gonna be a, a, a method in the, um, in the SDK to do this as well. But that is, um, that is it. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions about setting up timers, you can leave those and I'll respond just as quickly as possible. If you found this video helpful, please like it on YouTube. And if you're not already, um, please subscribe to the, uh, the Dabble Lab YouTube channel. That's at youtube.com slash Dabble Lab. Thanks so much.